Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to share with you the Spotlight Coloring Technique and this is also part of the Joy Claire Stamps new release. Now I am using this brand new stamp set from Joy Claire today. This is from the Color by Faith series. This is called Dwelling Place. It's got these great houses in it. They're very storybook looking houses. It's got two windows you can add to both of them. It's got great verses, great sentiments, great scripty words in here. It's just a really fun stamp set. This is also one of the larger ones, six by eight stamp sets. So you've got some larger images that you can play around with in here. This is perfect for this technique. So I like to use these for Bible journaling, but I'm actually going to be using this stamp set today to make a thank you card. This would be great if you've just had a housewarming party, if you've moved, anything like that, this is the stamp set for you. So I'm starting off with a piece of white cardstock in my mini Misty. This measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, so slightly smaller than your A2 size. I'll have a little bit of a area around my card panel that you can see the card base, which is just a look I like to go for. I am using Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp this down with. I will be coloring part of this with alcohol markers, so I wanted to make sure that I used an ink that played nice. Sometimes I would use my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, but I was in a little bit of a rush today so I, or when I made this card, so I did not have time to have that dry time. I would suggest that ink if you have that dry time. So I went ahead and double stamped this down. This is a newer stamp set, so you want to give this a double stamp. If you don't have a Misty, just make sure that you stamp it a couple times off onto a scrap piece of paper, especially when you're using your new stamps. That way you get it inked up, kind of broken in a little bit. Now inside this little house, I'm going to stamp a few of the windows. You have a larger and a smaller window, so down on the bottom level, the first story, I'm going to stamp one window. And then on the top, I'll stamp one to the left hand side, one of the smaller windows. And then I move that smaller window over to the right hand side, and I will stamp that on the right hand side as well. I'm using my Mini Misty, like I said, just so I can double stamp these. Since I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, it's not the darkest black. Uh, but it does the job, especially if you double stamp. Now that I've stamped this out, I'm going to go ahead and cut it apart. This is the fun part. You get to cut out the center of your panel here. So I'm using a rectangle die. This is nothing fancy. If you don't have a rectangle die for this technique, you could always use a craft knife and a ruler. I also went ahead and cut a black mat. That way I just have a little bit of an area around this panel where I've got some something to break apart the background and then the area where I'm going to color. I just like the look of that better. Now for the center of my panel, the part that I cut out with that rectangle die, I'm going to color this in with some alcohol markers. This is nothing fancy. I'm using my Dick Flick Studio brush markers and I'm doing two colors at most to blend in this area. So I wanted to go for some very dark rich color to really differentiate between the background and the spotlighted area. So that's why I chose my alcohol markers. If you don't have alcohol markers, this technique would be beautiful with any coloring medium. So colored pencils, watercolors, even using like your alcohol markers or your chalks for a really soft and subtle look would be gorgeous too. It'd be a completely different look, but it would be equally beautiful. Now I am using some very, very dark colors for this. Like I said, I wanted a really rich, bold center. So I went in with some wine colors for the house. I'm going yellow for the shutters. I used a very dark green for my tree. I'm using browns for the roof, a caramel color for the roof as well. And then also brown for the bottom portion of the windows, a little ledge window sill there. Then around my house, I'm adding a little bit of blue and a little bit of antique white. That's just going to help, again, spotlight that area and not make it look so stark white. It just helps it pop away a little bit more. I added some double-sided adhesive to the back of that and matted that with the black mat I created earlier. There is a look at how this is going to look put together. It's not completely straight yet, but we'll fix that in just a moment. So I added that background onto an A2 top folding card base, so four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I wanted to go ahead and add in my center panel, but pop it up a little bit. So I added some fun foam. This is black fun foam. I like to get this from Hallmark Scrapbook and Crafts. They have a thicker fun foam that they have, and they have it in black. I'll leave that link down below. It's very cheap to do, and then it just creates 
a nice area where you don't see the raised portion. It just looks completely black under there. There is a look at that all put together once I lined everything up and put that right down in the center. Then I decided that I wanted to stamp on this house. I wanted to stamp my sentiment on the front. Well, I had already popped this up with fun foam, so I couldn't use my Misty how I would traditionally use it with clear stamps. So what I did was I actually took out the fun foam and used it like you would with the red rubber stamps. So I put my card base in there and then I went ahead and made sure that I really, really prepped my surface for this because I already had it together. If you're remaking this card, I would suggest putting on your sentiment first, but I didn't think of it beforehand. I was just kind of flying by the seat of my pants with this card. Sometimes I do that. I don't have a plan. I just go in and start playing and hopefully it works out. This one did, thank goodness. But I went ahead and stamped down that blessed sentiment that comes with the stamp set. I think it's a beautiful scripty sentiment. And I stamped that right down in the center of the house with some Versamark ink. And I'll heat emboss that with some white ink. Now to make this really stand out, I put this right back in my Misty, prepped my surface again, inked up my stamp again, and I'll stamp it down in exactly the same spot. Then I can come in and do another round of heat embossing on this. That way it just helps it stand out from that very rich, colorful background. If you have any parts that stick, just use a dry paintbrush to go ahead and flick those away. I heat set that again, and there's a closer look at that all tucked into that house. I love the way that sentiment looks on the front. Now I wanted to go ahead and turn this into a thank you card. So on the inside of this, I grabbed out my Hello Sentiments, one of my very, very absolute favorites, most used stamp sets from Joy Claire. I grabbed the thanks word from that, and then I built up the sentiment, heartfelt thanks for all you do. I stamped right underneath that. And then um, this card was done, it was that easy. I actually stamped heartfelt thanks for everything, but that was very easy to stamp down to. I stamped the heartfelt right above the scripty thanks. I love that this stamp set has two different fonts to it. So you've got the larger, more scripty fonts to really help that thanks stand out. And then you've got the smaller, very block font for the heartfelt and the for everything. It's just a great look for the inside of the card. You could always stamp another house right over that if you wanted to even dress it up more. That does it for me today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. There are going to be links on the left side of your screen you can click on. Supplies that I used are in the description box below. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I want to thank you guys for watching and happy crafting.